Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am behind in getting out the December challenge, so I'm going to s extend this through January, probably through the middle of January. I am not going to set a date right now because I am going to be going on a couple of trips in January, so <laughs> we'll see if I can get something else recorded for the rest of January. My thought was, how about a floating pocket? The idea is, is that you would have a pocket full of goodies that could be put anywhere in a journal. You could paper clip it, you could pop it into another pocket. We're gonna use book pages. I'm gonna show you the basic concept of folding the book page, but then I want you to explore this idea and make it your own. Hey, by the way, if you will, Give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends if you haven't subscribed please subscribe check the description box to links to the friendly junk journal people facebook group where this challenge will be posted and you're encouraged to make a floating pocket and then take a photo of it and share it within the event in the group all right so i got a book page now your book page could be a different size it's whatever size you want to work with this particular one is nine and a quarter by about six inches it could go bigger you could go smaller that will help you in determining what size pocket you're going to have all right so what i've done is i've pressed a little bit of an edge on one side this is going to help me be able to use the full width of my pocket when we get to the final steps so i'm going to take this piece and fold it over on top of the first piece. And now I wanna figure out how tall do I want the back portion of my pocket. You know, sometimes I like about maybe three to four inches. So one, two, three, there's four. And I will fold this up even. Now, I've got this excess. Now, you could use this as it is, but I think what I want to do is cut off a portion of this. So, I want to make my bottom pocket, oh, I'm going about two and a half inches, and I'll fold it. Again, it just depends on my mood and what I want to do. And then what I want to do is just trim off this portion. Now, you can save that because it is the beginnings of another little pocket, so I'm just going to toss that over to the side. Now, what I want to do is open this back up, and I'm going to go across this portion and fold it over. Why? Because book pages can be rather thin, and if you're not careful, they will tear. So, this way, it gives it a little bit of strength to it. Okay, and then I will fold this pack back in and fold this over and then fold this up. So now we have a basic pocket, okay? You will glue it under here to get that sturdy, glue this piece to get that sturdy, and then you'll put glue on top of here so that when you close this over, you'll have a tube, and then you can put a little bit of glue here and here. Let me show you one that's finished. So here's a smaller one. So what I did was I glued the tube, I folded it up, I added some other papers to it. Now there's a pocket here. And actually, if you, depending on how you glue it, you could glue it to where there's a pocket in the back. It just won't be the full width. And then there'll be this pocket in the middle. And then you'll have this pocket here at the top, okay? And then decorate it. Here I added a piece of coffee dyed paper. I've got a bookmark, a, another bookmark. And then this was a bookmark, but I folded it in half and added some images from Calico Collage to pop that down in there and there. All right, so let's make a bigger one. So I've got a book page here that I have already folded over this edge and I've already folded over this edge. This one's gonna be a lot bigger. So I've already gone around the edges with some distressed inks. I'm gonna come down this side. And this pocket's gonna be a lot bigger. So it is roughly a little over four inches wide. 
I'm using an old dictionary paper page. So this pocket's going to be a lot deeper. So when I look at it, I think I made it one, two, three, four, almost five inches tall. And I made the total, total tallness of this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches. All right. I want to go ahead and put glue here and here and then pop that over. And I'm okay that the text is upside down. I'm going to cover it up. So let's get my little pieces of paper here. So I have this little piece of paper that I want to put down. But when I was looking at this, I was thinking that maybe it needed a little bit more color. So I'll grab mowed lawn and a scrap of paper. Any shade of green, really. And I'm going to come in here and add some green to the edges. You know, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and do the whole thing up here at the top, too. Adding a little bit of green. So now it kind of dresses up our plain book page. This is one of my gel prints that I've made as a digital download. And I just trimmed it to fit right on the front here. So I will glue this down. If you wanted some fancy stitches, you could stitch around this and then glue it into place. And then I wanted on top of this another pocket. And I just happened to have a scrap that was left over from a Christmas dream, I think it was. Or it was Merry Little Christmas. I can't remember. But I had this little piece left. And I thought it would be kind of cute to put it on here. And then I had the word wish stamped. And so I could place it below. I think I want to go ahead and make this a deeper pocket. So let me find some strips of paper. So I got a couple of strips of paper. So I'm going to glue one here. Pop that in the glue. And I bring it down just a little bit. Get this out of the way. And trim it. And I'm going to glue up this side and add a little piece of paper and slide it over in that glue till half of it is hanging out and the other half is adhered down. And I'll do it one more time. Get rid of the glue booger, as we say. <laughs> and I'll use this last piece of paper. It's a good way to use up your book pages. So if you cut up books to use them for the covers and you've been trying to figure out what to do with all the pages, well, make things out of them. All right, so I'm just going to trim all of these. I'll trim this at an angle on both corners. And then I will do this diagonally and take the corner off. Okay. Put that a second to dry. While I'm waiting on that to dry, I think I want to put a piece of paper up here. I was looking around, and I know I saw a piece. Here we go. I had this piece of red, and I thought it might look kind of neat going across the top there. You'll see a little bit of the green book page. This is another gel print. This was a scrap, and I love creating gel prints and then turning them into digital downloads. So if you're not a gel printer, but you love the look of it, you can get several in my shop. I have it set up that if you are a person that makes donations during my live streams, then all you got to do is come over to my website at lindaisrael.com and say, hey, I donated during your live stream. And then you can get added to my YouTube donator membership. And you'll get several of my digital downloads for free. This is a piece of paper sack, grocery sack. My grocery store near us will bag your groceries in plain paper sacks. And I kind of like it. All right, I think I want to find something to stamp on there. And I think the word journal. So I'm going to put that on here. Let me find my block that I want to use. Looks like I need to clean it. So this is from the journal quartet number two. 
and I'm going to ink it up with jet black. Stamp that in the middle. I like it. And I think I'll just glue that across the top there. It will get covered up with stuff in the pocket, but when you take everything else, it'll have a nice little word journal there. Pop that down. All right, so this portion should be dry. So what I'm going to do is fold up the edges of the gusset to hold our pocket in place and give us the full width of our pocket. So I'll put glue on the tabs. I'm just using a Lean's Tacky Glue. Use your favorite glue. I like Lean's because it's relatively inexpensive and you don't need a whole lot. I mean, it may look like there's a lot of glue, but there really isn't. And I think I wanna put this just up just a smidge from the bottom so you kind of see the borders. Press that into place. And then I think the word wish I want to put across the, at a diagonal there. So I'm going to put a nice little generous amount of glue. And this was just some sequin trim that I glued in place. Okay, I like that. All right, so I'm going to flip this over because I want to do the back. And for the back, I took another piece of that gel print and I've already gone around the edges with some distress inks and I cut it to be just a fraction smaller than my pocket. Now, if you want to leave this part blank, you could, you can then glue this directly into your journal, but we're trying to make a floating pocket. So it's all nice and decorated. We got some neat papers on it that we can use for writing. And then I have a piece of Tattered Angels dyed paper. So instead of using coffee, I used Tattered Angels. So I sprayed it a little bit and then I laid another piece on top and kind of positioned it over and over, just kind of mopping up that ink. And so this is what it turned out to be. And I just love the colors. And I thought I would just put that Pretty much in the center here. I mean, let's find some decoration to put on it. So I pretty much centered that in the middle. I see, well, what do I want? You know, I, I always kind of wait sometimes to decorate everything because I may come up with something else that I want to use instead. These are a bunch of calico collage images. What if I did something like, that looks kind of neat, doesn't it? With the little girl in the corner there, and then maybe we'll find something that fits up there. I have some stickers. Let's see if any of these look like we want. You know, maybe I'll put one of these stickers at the top. I'm gonna glue this down. right across here and then we'll glue the poinsettia kind of coming out the corner and I like this really red sticker here for variety you know put this little sticker here in the corner and then I had a little bit of some of Norella's words. This one just happens to say, happy holidays. That kind of fits, doesn't it? Right down there at the bottom. So let's use that one. I was telling myself that I was just gonna do a quick little tutorial, but then I get into it and it ends up being much bigger. So this was a card that was in one of the various Christmas kits whether it be one of Norella's or one of my subscription boxes, know that you can get mine as a digital download. Of course, all uh, download as well as Calico Collages are all digital downloads as well. So I'm gonna put that in here. I've got a pocket back here. 
and I happen to have just a piece of cardstock that fits. So I'm going to pop that into, I'm going to make sure I got the pocket where I want it. So it pops into that pocket. Now it's a little bit going to cover that up, which is okay. And then I've got a tag that I thought would be really cute in front of there. And then I wanted something to go in the big pocket here. And I've showed y'all in the past where I cut up a paper sack and use it for the pages. Well, this is the gusset of the paper sack. And I thought that would be kind of cute to put it in the pocket, but I didn't put some distress inks on there. So let me do that. And while I'm doing that, I'll think about what do I want to decorate this little piece with? Okay, I think what I want to do is stamp on it. So I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here. I've got the mistletoe stamp. It's a stamp I'll offer in my shop. And I think I want to stamp it kind of going across the edge and maybe even kind of come down the side a little bit. just for some texture on the edges. That kind of looks pretty, doesn't it? Now we could put one on the inside, and I think I will. So I'm gonna put one coming out from this corner and let's have one coming up from the opposite corner. And while we're at it, we might as well put just a little bit of something on the back. So let's put it right in the middle and stamp that. That's kind of cute. All right, for the front, I have a little bow. Do I want to do something like that? Or I could save the bow. Now that covers it up. Maybe something like that with the little bow and maybe another little piece behind. So let me see. Oh, I've got a little scrap here. All right, let's cut this. Now let's see what that looks like to do list. And then we'll have the little bow. I think I like that. I'm going to glue that together. Add some distress ink to the edge. Oh, and I should have showed you this. Um, if you've got one of these daubers and you're always chasing it because it rolls off your desk, well, glue some bling on it. And then when you put it down, as you can see, it won't roll all the way off the desk. Mine kept rolling off and I would just pick it up and grumble. And I finally decided, you know what? Why don't I just glue some bling on it and then it'll be kind of pretty and I can keep it from rolling off the desk. So I thought I'd share that with y'all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece down right about there. And then this is a little ribbon rubber stamp, or I think it's bow. I may have called it bow on my website. And I stamped it with gold embossing ink or powder on a red piece of paper. I like that. And I, I don't think this needs anything on this side. So we'll pop that open it up down in here and we have the decorations there so here is one that I made as an example and then here is the one I made today so you can see you know using a book page you can add all kinds of things whether it be rubber stamping digital images images that you find cut up some Christmas cards see what you can come up with making a little floating pocket it could have more pockets than I had this one has one two, three pockets. This one has one, two pockets. So it just kind of depends upon what you like, what you have, what you want to do with it, right? Hopefully this inspires you. If it does, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about this project today. If you will, again, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Check the links in the description box for the Calco collage digitals as well as digitals and printed kits that I offer as well as rubber stamps 
And again, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me and for watching. Y'all have a fabulous day. And check the description box for the link to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. All right, everybody. Bye.